Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I'm gonna prepare those batteries for one small electric car. So I need to make a wiring and uh, I need to connect all cells on the BMS. Uh, these are the batteries from the Opel Corsa. These are the NCM battery. One module is 2.8 kilowatt hour. It is a 24 volts and altogether will have 98 volts and it will be approximately 10 kilowatt hour. So it will be used for one small electric cart and it will be configured in this position. And without further ado, let's get started. So on this module, I will be making a wiring. I need to remove all these clips. And this one had a plate here like this and I already remove it. So I need to now figure out what are those pins from each cells and I'll need to make an order. So I'll need to solder the wires in order to make a connector. So now this is the negative polarity and this is the positive polarity. This is 23, this is the 24 volts and now I have to figure it out. And this is the first pin. And uh, now I will be using this one, this and this. Uh, this is something else, I don't know. And this is the first pin that I will be using it. This will be zero. So this is the first cell. This will be marked as first one. This is the second one. So these are, this is the third one. This is the fourth one. So this is now the order. So I found the order. Here is the second one. Here is the third one. Here is the fourth one. Fifth one. And the sixth one. They have some stupid order to get, but this is the way how I have to connect them. So now I will be using this uh, connectors and I will be making the wires and now I'm going to be using those wires to connect the another pins in order and this will be the pins that I will be using there and this is the 13 pin connector and I will be using every second one so I will be mark only the first negative and the last positive and in between doesn't matter which color they are so they will be all white and this is the long and tedious work so And this is the second one. And this is now wiring for the connector. So I need to solder on each pin to get the voltage on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the first one here and to see what length I need. And this is the first wire. So I'm gonna, and this is now finished. So I'm gonna check the voltage order. So I'm gonna replicate now three times. So now I'm gonna show you how to proper cream wire so that holds tight. And first you need to remove the isolation, not too much and not too low. And the pin goes now into this crimping tool. You just take the wire on this side and then put it into the pin and just squeeze. And the proper crimping is that you have to have the isolation up to here so that these first two spikes going into the isolation so that it holds tight and now it is fitting tight and you can't remove it. And now you just push it into the connector. So now everything is soldered properly and I will fix the wires. The wires need to be fixed. Thank you. 
And here is the BMS that I'm going to attach to the battery. And here are the connections that I will solder on each of these two connectors. I need four of them. And here are and here are some uh, copper connectors, uh, some to connect the battery. So here is now the shrink tube. Everything is connected now, I need to print the label. Labels for each one. So here is the wire that I will be soldering here and then this will be a battery negative terminal. Go ahead and connect it right here. Now the shrink tube. And this part is going on the charger. And here are the bolts. So now I'm going to combine those two modules, this one and this one, and this one and this one. So now I'm going to connect the wires. And now we are going to connect the BMS. And I need to make sure that everything is in order. In and now I have to check the voltages. Let's see now. First one. The last one is 95. Everything is now in order. So the first thing what I'm going to do is connect the negative. This is the charging port. And now I'm going to go ahead and finally connect the BMS. And this is the third and fourth. I'll find it on the application. Now we have here This is what I will be 
putting here is 125 amp power and here will be I will put 110 and now we do have over voltage I will put the over voltage on 4.15 and this is what we are going to 5 4.05 and this should be everything okay now and now batteries are connected on my trusted chargers and we can see now the the charging current is 15 amps I set the charges to charge with 15 amps charger can charge between 8 and 30 amps up to 100 volts and here are the, the cell voltages the voltages are all stable and everything is everything is fine so this red and this is not significant difference between voltages and when they exceed 4 volts we can see the balancing and this is working really fine and one more thing i'm selling this aluminium ring and with this one you are able to mount the facelift m steering wheel to older e39 cars to pre-facelift cars and this is the way how you can add some value into your cars because these cars are going up in value not mention only the m5 or 540 but even the basic spec if they are in the decent conditions so you can add an extra value in it so anyway if you don't have the E39, you can still buy it as a souvenir because this is the piece of art. So this is how you can support the channel. You have the price and email down below into the description so you can order it. Or if you think you don't have enough experience to do it, you can send the steering wheel to me and I can do it for you. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one.